Hi all, Todd Manson, aka Ionosphere Casting Shadows, or Alien Spore Bomb, <laughs> depending on who you ask. I'm going to do a video today which talks about the Frippertronic style looping as devised by Sean B from V Guitar Forums. And that basically talks about how to get the Boss RC300 loop station to do loop decay through the use of an external cable. The first thing we want to do is press the memory edit button and you will use the right arrow to go over to your input out and you'll want to change that to main and then what you'll want to do is right arrow over to memory overdub and you'll want to change that to replace so it's basically replacing the earlier loops the next section you'll want to hit the system button and right arrow over to record PDL ACT currently it's record into play you want to change that to record into overdub and you'll want to write all this to the system memory of the RC300. Then also in the system you want to have your input out set to main. Next up press system again and right click over to track one out and set that to sub and you want to set each track two and track three all to sub also right the next section is you want to have all of your inputs relatively low to prevent crazy overdriving the signal so basically the first time through you want to play and record the length you want and then cut over into overdub mode. The default fade out is set to 50, which may work for you. Uh, it works for me, but you might want to dial it down a notch if you want it to be fading out a little bit sooner. I'm going to give a demonstration of what this actually gives you once you've set it up this way so that it goes from a song style looper, which it's basically its normal configuration, into a more eclectic avant uh, Frippertronic style looper. Starting the first loop. Cutting over to play.
now that the uh, regeneration really wasn't turned on, nothing was coming through, so it's just fading out. One thing I wanted to emphasize, I've got a auxiliary stereo mini plug going into the auxiliary input, and that's connected to the sub output quarter inch jacks. So that's a stereo right left pair, and that goes all the way over to the auxiliary input, and that lets me route the loops coming from the sub output back into the machine so I can do this technique. I've also used this cable for a couple of other things. Uh, I've used it from the main output while using the USB out into my computer to monitor it into a digital camera which lets me do high quality audio for videos. Um, not like this one. And right now the current software version on the RC300 is about 1.05 that's the version number and that particular version is the latest that can be publicly gotten but some people who have purchased their RC300s via Sweetwater are getting 1.10 uh, I'm hoping at some point I won't necessarily have to use the cable technique to do the uh, loop fading technique and loop fading if you find things are too hot Use your input levels to control things. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, that's Frippertronic style looping using an RC300 uh, by Boss.